to another dish and eat the shorts right here at the ranch here, smoke me a lucky strike, contemplating the world one lit cigarette to a time. Solving world problems, folks. We just don't know. Uh, been one of them days. I just can't get my shit together, can't get right, can't walk where the damn. Did take a ride in the car. That, that was pleasant. But other than that, I got nothing much going on, man. But. I, uh, I wanted to elaborate on a subject, uh, Tomcat, uh, over at Tomcat World, formerly John Smith, uh, he elaborated on. He keeps talking about the Hello Hotel, right? Uh, that, that's the local crack house they're tearing down for apartments. And I'm sure I've probably touched on this before. If not, you know, buckle up. Uh, there's really only a couple of ways to deal with your North American meth tweaker now. There is a difference between a crackhead and a tweaker. A crackhead likes rock cocaine quite a bit, and a uh, tweaker will uh, steal your wallet from you and then help you look for it. See, when you do a copious amount of drugs and drink, um, you, you come to a certain point where you get a heightened sense of alertness. And you don't sleep for long periods on end. And, and part of that is steletization of things to support one's own problem. So, basically, anything that's not nailed down and uh, isn't easily accessible, right, we're probably going to be stolen. It's just sad facts in nature. It's just the way they do things. And they usually do it in the sneaky hours of the evening time between uh, whenever the normal person passes out and goes to bed and lays their empty head on their pillow to just right at dawn when people are starting to get up and get ready for work. And they usually have a base of operations, right? You local crack house, uh, you local tweak shop, you know, whatever. Uh, and you can always tell that there's tweakers around because there's garbage and stripped things and they, they just love to take things apart. That's just part of it. Right? You know, you get wired for technicolor and sound. Uh, you know, you're bound to have some extra energy on your hands. And don't get me wrong, it's fun to fuck around as a kid and do dumb shit, but like these people generally make a career out of this, right? They live off the government. Uh, and whatever they can get their filthy little oil-soaked hands in, because most tweakers are dirty, you can smell them. And uh, they're kind of dangerous, man, in a group. Like, you know, when you encounter one, they're not so brazen usually, unless they're mentally ill, or, or have been somebody like me that have done too many of the things and uh, can't seem to get their anger impulse under control. But... The biggest thing to worry about would be them in a pack, right? You know, three, four, five of them. You know, kind of like coyotes. Your average tweaker is about the size of a coyote. Uh, and they look fairly rabid, too, when you see them. Their eyes are bugging out their head, their mouth's frothing. You know, they're, like they're wired for sound and technicolor. Like, they're, they're all fucked off. And you never know. Some of them that are uh, more enterprising and at a mid-level of dealing, usually carry a gun. The vast majority of them usually carry pocket knives, you know, for various activities and things. And uh, knowing how to approach said creatures, uh, I'll leave you with some words from Hunter S. Thompson on, you can turn your back on a person, but never turn your back on a drug. You don't know what the drug is going to do once it takes hold. It might be everything from, you know, like, hey, let's paint this fence to, uh, hey, let's strip you down for copper components to see what you're made of. Like, you just don't know what they'll do. And learning how to read eye signals and movements and body language and things like that. And learning to speak the language probably isn't a bad thing. But as always, I'll leave you with the uh, midday shorts and the immortal words a crime pays a botany doesn't, and that is, have a wonderful day to go fuck yourself and bye.